hour, I had said that crews were going back out to check that third and final spot that they had initially pinpointed as a place of interest to potentially find that man. I've been told in the last 30 minutes they were unsuccessful there. So again, they have crews again going back out looking for spots to potentially find this individual in the river. Coast Guard helicopters, drones, and dive teams converged on a section of the James River Friday morning searching for a missing boater. Officials say two men were out fishing on this boat and heading along the James when the driver realized his friend was no longer in the boat. By the time the, the operator uh, turned the boat around because he had originally seen him, he couldn't find him. But why or how the man in his late 70s fell in is still unknown. It could just be he wasn't wearing a life jacket. We, again, we're not sure, so he could have hit his head. It could have been a medical emergency. We're just not sure at the point. Search efforts launched from the Dutch Gap boat ramp about a half mile upriver from where the man was last seen. At first, they used sonar to help pinpoint areas for dive teams to search because of the debris and poor visibility in the river, where it's 20 feet deep where they're searching. And it's just safer for our, our divers versus going down and getting entangled in something that may cause a, a dive emergency for them. Dive crews eventually hit the water and checked out two of the three areas of interest without success before breaking to recuperate. And as a precaution because of the recent wastewater spill in the James, the crews were also decontaminated by a hazmat team when they stepped out. We don't have any evidence that the water is unsafe. Just with the circumstances of this being so recent, we just out of abundance of precaution, we want to make sure our folks are taken care of. Now, as I mentioned, they have gone out and unsuccessfully checked that third and final spot, and they do have sonar teams back out searching the area, looking for more areas they might send teams down to under the water. Crews say that they will be out here until sunset this evening, and if they are unsuccessful, they will come back out tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and resume their efforts. Working for you at the Dutch Gap Boat Launch in Chesterfield County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.